Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have another Iron Man episode uh, planned for you guys to watch. Now, first of all, before I start it off, i just like to mention that I'm slightly sick. S what? Sick? I am slightly sick. I've done this vid intro like five times already. I'm slightly sick um, and my voice is going to be a little bit fucked throughout the video, uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. However, on screen right now, there are the stats at the start of the episode, and the goal is very simple. Get 93 crafting, finish my jewelry, get tormented bracelet, and get uh, uh, torture, amulet of torture, and uh, do some other fun stuff in between. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. Also, if you are new, feel free to subscribe. I want to get 50k before Christmas, that is my goal. And with that being said, enjoy the episode. First level out of many, 90 crafting. Uh, the way I'm doing things is giant seaweed, make them into uh, molten glass and then blow that. That's the fastest XP I can get at the moment. 91. After that, I decided to do a new quest. Uh, I took a while completing it for some reason. Uh, didn't do it straight in the release, uh, but either way, new patch, I'll take it. All right, done with the quest, done with mining salt. Let's make some fires. First fire right over here. Ma, for fuck's sake, I need a tinderbox, goddammit. Alright, there we go. Probably never really gonna use this one. Um, but a little bit of experience. I found fire of dehumidification. What, what the fuck that is? Uh, second fire, probably one that's gonna be the most useful out of all, is the one next to Godwars. Um, you see how my stats just get drained each second here? Well, if I make this fire... This will no longer happen, you're still gonna have run energy, and this account doesn't really have Godward's items yet, so fire of unseasonal warmth is gonna definitely be helpful for us. Alright, let's go to the next one. Another pretty cool one is next to Mole. Um, there we go, we no longer need our lantern down here. I might be killing some Mole in the future, I don't really know. And then the last one is, I think, in Lumbridge. Um, yeah, definitely in Lumbridge. And in fact, this one is actually not the last one, uh, because one is at the disease-free patch, so that's the last one we're gonna have to make. Um, but I don't know the fastest way of getting there. I think I can just create a teleport, but I don't exactly know how all of these things are very new to me. Um, so we need this, we need more steel bars. Two of those, and okay, let's see. So. I think I need one, I'm looking it up, so I need one of these, I need a red salt, okay, so which one, I see, I think, oh, I made four, I did not want to make four, so do I just teleport like that, mate, alright, so there we go, let's make a final one, and then I'm actually gonna go and mine 100 basalt, so I can create a portal in my house that teleports me straight up to troll, uh, to troll stronghold or whatever. And then I'm gonna make a bunch of these icy basalt, basalt teleports. Um, so I can teleport here basically uh, every time I do a farm run, which should be really, really awesome. Um, yeah, let's do it. The next thing on the list of the upgrades that I want to do is basically my house. There's been portal nexus update. And I have absolutely no idea what I need to do. Also, my construction is high enough that I can upgrade my jewelry box and all those small things that we're going to do today that are just going to um, basically help in the long run. There's a lot of things that I can still do. Now, first of all, I don't know if I actually already want to do this. Uh, I have everything I need for the troll home stronghold or whatever that thing is, the, the teleporter there um, for this one, basically. Yeah, the Trollheim teleport. Uh, but I don't want to do that right now. So first things first, uh, if I go to building mode, let's just build portal next or somewhere. We can move it eventually anyways. So I just want to build it here. And I have no idea what I need, but I know there is a lot of good things in it. So portal nexus, 72, 200k, and let's build it. And now I think it costs a lot of money to actually properly make. Uh, now first things first, uh, first amulet space we can get mounted Xerix talisman and mounted dig site pendant um, so I think I'll do these two first all right so there we go this is what you're gonna need for the dig site uh, whatever that thing is um, curator's medallion so we need 250 rubies dig site pendant 100 cosmics and 500 fires let's see if we have that in my Okay, so I have enough of rubies, but I don't have enough of lizardman fangs for the other amulet. But that's okay, and we're gonna get them eventually. I haven't done that many lizardmen. 
Um, but first thing, a medallion. Uh, yes, exchange my runes and everything. And there it is. It's going to be a very, very nice thing. Meaning that I'll be able to just drop the rest of the these guys because I'll just have it in my ba uh, in my house right now. So that's awesome. Um, honestly, I just want to go build it straight up. So we're gonna get we need to go to blast furnace and go buy all the other small things that we still need. All in all, that is going to be a big hit for the bank. Obviously, I don't have that much money and I've been sparing for 99 construction, but unfortunately, it won't be enough. Either way, I think it's a worthy thing to do. Now, first of all, let's make sure we have enough of these. So one gold leaf, that's going to be so expensive. So lizard man, I don't have that yet. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I thought, so I think I bought all of them. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we got all of them. Uh, let's build it in the house. And there we go. Let's start. First one. Oh, that looks so sick. Upgrade. Don't mind if I do. Another upgrade. Shit, I need to get like plus one boost, I think. Do I have everything? Two magic stones and two gold leaves. I do. All right, let's build this one real quick, though, before I forget. No. The no, wait, where is it? Ah, there it is on the other side. So I'm going to have to turn it around. Um, this one, that's what we want. And that is beautiful for the bird of house runs, for the whatever you want to do. It's really nice, so let's turn it around real quick. Uh, rotate one, two, done. That's gonna be better now. Obviously, I can just come, boom, teleport house. Next thing you know, I just click here, I think. Boom, teleport, easy. All right, I hope that is everything that I need. This cup of tea right here. Uh, we hopefully can drink it from a, for a plus one boost. Upgrade it for this. Hey, look at this, the last one. Spent about, what, 5 mil on that? And now we're gonna go to back here again, get all the runes, and hopefully finally uh, get all of the things unlocked, and then I'm gonna have to go mine more salt, because apparently I do not have enough of it. Okay, so I'd say after about 3 hours of mining salt, I finally have enough to create the final portal in my house. I still have to buy a 1,000 bananas and some, like, 7,000 astral runes, and all those sorts of things. I might actually just do rune crafting for the runes. I'm not exactly sure. Because it is almost impossible to buy them in the shop right now. Everything is full. I'll try again though uh, and see how it is. But let's just first on create this portal. As far as I know, it is an amazing portal to have. So if we just do this, this and that. We go house real quick. And we create this amazing portal. So wait, I think I have it on the right side. Configuration. And uh, there it is, strong, Stronghold, and uh, do I just drag it in? I do just drag it in, I'll move it like up here, I think. And this one, uh, I guess I just save and close and confirm, and uh, it's all gone. Okay, come on, come on, upgrade, and boom. Oh, I wanted that one for a while. All right, it has been a while. Let's collect resources from miscellanea, and all I'm really interested in right now is obviously herbs and mahogany logs. Uh, simply because in not so long time, I will be going for that 99 construction. I'm still waiting for it. Obviously, I need more money for that, um, but I'll get that with 99 Slayer. So I have everything planned. Um, but yeah, I'm still... Wait, let's see how much money I actually have in here. Uh, I have 5 million in here, which is more than enough. Uh, and I have 100% uh, favor, so that's also nice. I'm gonna go clean the old herbs that I just got, and then I will uh, probably just continue training crafting i think i want 93 so i can create torture and outside of that i just do my daily farm runs and outside of that i just pk basically so yeah not too bad and here's the farming level we are now level 88 nothing new but i guess it's cool level e what do we unlock nothing Rip. This son of a bitch was found. No, not that son of a bitch, you idiot. This son of a bitch. I'm all glad to hear that he was still alive. <sighs> well, that's a little bit awkward because we just got 93 crafting and I missed it. Uh, yikes. All right, uh, let's get a plus five boost. Let's see if I have some onyxes. That's first of all. I do not have any onyxes. I do have both zenites that I need. So first things first, we're gonna make those into the uncuts 
Uh, and for that, we're probably gonna have to sell a little bit of these Chaos runes that we have right here. We're also gonna grab Karamja gloves, so we get more uh, Tokel out of that. And we're gonna grab all the Tokel that we already have. Uh, okay, so we need two Onyxes, and then we're gonna make the jewelry. So we're gonna have to need our cat. And uh, we're gonna need uh, these things to feed her if she is about to die. And we're gonna have to make some orange spices that I do not have. So it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but uh, basically once I'm done and once I do get the boost, we will walk away with a Zenite amulet and with a Zenite bracelet. So that's the goal. Let's do it. We're almost there. There we go, 520,000 tokul, spent about 70,000 70k chaos runes. Dude, that's worth a lot of money, holy. We're gonna speak to this man right here, we're gonna get one onyx, and then we're gonna hop a world. We're gonna get another onyx. If it would work, there we go. Beautiful, look at this. How nice does this look, man, that's crazy. That looks beautiful. All right, let's go make this into Zenites. Oh, look at it. This is going to be awesome. Watch this. No. You need a cut onyx. Okay, say no more. Say no more. Oh my god, look at this. Fuck, I don't know how to do this. Oh. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh man, this is so nice. Alright, um, let's go get some boosts real quick. Hopefully we get lucky. Wait, I think I can make this one. Alright, we made the first one, Zenite Bracelet. Please. Yes! I'm done, finally! Oh. Alright, very, very happy. Uh, we are now uh, basically going to have everything. Uh, we first need to spellbook swap over to standard spellbook. And now we need to have 20 souls, 20 bloods, and some cosmics. So souls, um, bloods, and cosmics. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. But either way, look at this. Boom. First one. Tormented Bracelet, and the second one, Amulet of Torture, and we have a Suffering already, and we have a um, Necklace of Anguish already as well, which is beautiful. I am so happy I have this out of the way right now. Um, basically, yeah, this, is, this was such a big thing that I kept postponing simply because of my crafting level, so I'm really happy I got that out of the way. It was a big grind. Uh, but from here on on, I actually want to get a lot of new PVM drops. So the episodes should start to get really, really interesting from here on out.